Beach Cowboy. We are seeing a very busy Hollywood Beach right now. It is just <laughs> so, so packed. I can't believe there are so many people there. I'm going to assume they're visiting, but... That, that's a lot. Snowbirds <laughs> doing what snowbirds do. Well, somebody's kind of dancing down the broadwalk right there. I like, some, this is how you know they're snowbirds. We've got some shorts and short <laughs> sleeves. And, and some girls real happy yeah. there. Meanwhile, we're in turtlenecks <laughs> here. That's how you know who's from South Florida and who's not. I'm, is it a holiday? I mean, <laughs> what's oh, going on? Tell us. We, tell we us. didn't get the memo. We did not. We did not. <laughs> Chilly this morning, but this afternoon, nice and mild. In the low 70s, Miami and Fort Lauderdale. Key West is at 67 degrees. We have a light west wind out there. For the evening hours, we'll keep that subtle west-northwest flow going. And temperatures will drop into the 60s once the sun goes down. And though things are a little bit different for tonight compared to last night, especially with these mid and high level clouds uh, noticed across our skies today and our forecast model suggesting we'll still have some of those clouds around this evening. That may help to keep our temperatures from going as low as last night, but we're still expecting lows in the 50s. The forecast models are bearing that out. The models are also showing there may be some far western areas that do the 40s, but I'm thinking throughout Broward and Dade, the 50s will be more like it and near 60 for lows overnight in the Keys. Check out the Doppler radar. This was so quiet. No rain detected over land or over the waters yesterday, but the difference today, we've got a few showers just offshore over the Atlantic waters, little string of broken showers, those generally gliding or sort of just sitting there with a north to south movement. We're not worried about those running in on us, so we are pulling a few clouds in. It's a dry forecast for South Florida. Water vapor imagery, this looks different as well. Much drier air was overhead yesterday. You can see how some of that has left our space, but we still have air that's just only slightly moist. We'll put it that way. We don't have an incredible amount of moisture in the upper levels of the atmosphere. So not a lot of change in terms of what our weather is going to do. Over the next couple days, we're going to keep the chilly mornings. We'll introduce a moisture starved cold front tomorrow ahead of this front. Plenty of sunshine behind the front. More cool air is going to slide in and that gives us a chilly start to Thursday as well. And then a comfortable afternoon with north northeast winds starting to kick in by Thursday afternoon. But we should start the day with that northerly flow, which is just a, an airflow that gives some cool air riding down the peninsula. Check out our forecast for tomorrow. We'll start in the 50s and then make that run up to the mid 70s. So warmer tomorrow afternoon compared to this afternoon. Seven day planner shows Thursday looking very similar to what we have forecast for Wednesday. Friday, lows upper 50s, highs mid 70s. Saturday, seasonable, that low of 60, high of 77. And then Sunday, we'll be watching for our weather system to move our way. That could bring some rain that scoots across and we'll eventually get another front coming through which drops our temperatures back to the 50s it looks like next Tuesday morning. So not quite done apparently with the chilly mornings. We've got several more this week and if things go according to what the models are showing, we may get another morning of 50s next Tuesday. Janice. Okay, buddy.